real quick before we get started with the show. After the 2025 Miami Boat Show, I will be doing a cruise on Celebrity Cruise Lines for our subscribers. The dates would be February 17th through the 21st out of Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I encourage you to tell your friends and family so we all have time to prepare. More information would be in the description below. Now let's start with today's video from Black Point Marina. Folks, we got no captain. Welcome to Black Point Marina, guys. It is, it is the top of summer. This is, this is, this is the hottest it's gonna get. Uh, yours truly, Alfred Mountain, is here watching this guy uh, dock the boat. No captain. Oh, he's a captain again. Wait for it. Yes, um, I could say I could say this is literally the hottest day of the year. Um, yeah, welcome to Black Point Marina, by the way. If you guys never watch my channel, they have a, I have a whole playlist of uh, a lot of crazy stuff that happens at the boat ramp. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and see some crazy chittery here at Black Point Marina. And like I say all the time, wait for it. It's going to get good, guys. It's going to get good here at the marina, folks. Got some people on the barbecue in the back. All right, these guys look like they've worked together before. She's getting the lines. He already picked uh, the ramp that he wants to dock in. He looks back, he makes sure his engine is still there. She looks pretty confident herself. And uh, wait, wait for it guys. Let's see what happens here at the boat ramp. She goes towards the bow. She's got two lines in her hands. Folks, yay or nay. Wait for it. She goes, pull off a touch. Captain goes, jumps in. He jumps out of the boat. And yes, not the prettiest dock but nevertheless teamwork makes the dream work folks remember you're not scot-free at uh, <laughs> you're not scot-free at the boat ramp unless uh, you pull out your truck in your home yeah but there's a lot of things going on in the world um, I don't know, comment below, should I start talking about like current events? I really don't like talking about current events because it dates my videos. But yeah, there's a lot of crazy shit going on. A lot of crazy shit going on. Look at this cluster F. There's a cluster fudge. All right, these guys are gone. He just told the other guy, get off my lawn, you and your big ass, Grady White. Sapika. Sapika! Hey, um, the boat ramps have been full. Look, 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 look at Wilma over here. The, uh, the boat ramp has been full, but they're not opening up the, uh, the overspill lot. So, I don't know why they're not doing that, but they're, they're not which I thought was interesting because normally when the actual parking finishes, they'll have like a little back area that they open up for summer, but now it's closed. People were kind of hot on social media about that. Yeah, because you come 10 in the morning and I sit there, the, there's, there's uh, police in the front telling you, hey guys, it's closed, you gotta go to another marina. And if Black Point is closed, guaranteed Matheson is closed and Maybe you might have a shot at Herbert Hoover, which is Biscayne over there in Homestead. So these are the ones who made it, guys. These are, these are the early birds. Everybody who's coming in here, 
Uh, they spent the night out there last night. Oh boy, we always keep an eye on these. We always keep an eye on these little heroes. And then a hero comes along. He's got it. He looks confident, he points. Looks like Babe Ruth, did you see that? Don't mess it up, guy. Don't mess it up, guy. We've been here all day. Oh, well, st uh, stop. We're gonna get shot killed, damn it. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Good, how was the water, good? You're not gonna mess up? Oh, he said he's not gonna mess up. Target enemy number one. Yeah, guys, don't come to the boat room and say, uh, I'm not gonna mess up. That makes me, it's like an HR, an HO hard, hmm, hmm, for me. Because it just makes me say, wait for it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, who knows, maybe the guy's good. Or maybe he just sticks the, oh my goodness, these, these, these people are here talking shit behind me. And there's a debate on soccer. Oh boy, they're talking about Venezuela. Do I have a hero here and I'm not looking at the right place? Dude, it is so hot. Guys, let me tell you something, Len, especially those that are watching here locally. If you're out there with kids, make sure they're hydrated and let them get air. Don't let them, don't cover them up and all that stuff. You want them to not overheat, dude. I've seen it out here at the boat room. The kids overheat themselves and it's just terrible. And you too. Some people were back here just offering me a beer. And I was like, nah, bro, I'm good. It's 105 degrees out here today. All right, they're back. I have my eye on this guy. He still hasn't come back, the other guy. I'm looking at the dually, see what's going on here. We haven't had a bloop, bloop, bloop in a couple weeks. Um, it started getting good there for a moment. And then, I don't know, things got bad. All right, here's this guy. Ugh. I'm gonna have to get in the water. This is what we're gonna call Mr. Perfect. Not me, bro. Anybody but me. Don't worry, don't worry. See la haga al. Si no la haga tú, it's gonna be one of your friends. I don't know, bro. I don't know. That doesn't look too, too good either, bro. Strike one. Oh, the girl. Come on, lady. What are you doing? You, you hate her? Oh, made up ISO. The, the guy was perfect. It's not me. It's not me. No. Oh, mirado, Eric in the house. Bro, you, you let me know. S send me your address. And let, send me your address, your, your address, and I'll send you one. I, bro, you got me, Captain Vicious. Okay, but send me your address through uh, Instagram. You, got, you, you gotta get me a Captain Vicious. Send me your number, cause okay. Hey, me and texting, I hate. I hate that. Dale, dale, dale. I'll give it to you. How was the water out there? Good. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I'm doing a cruise February seventeenth to the. 17th? To the 21st. You're going on a cruise. I'm making a cruise. Where? I don't know where. We're going to go out of Fort Lauderdale. Four days. How much? I'm working on that too. Try, I, I'm trying to. I, I, I'm telling you because I want a lot of fun people to go. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. I'm going to hit you up and I, I'm, I've been announcing it. I just, I'm going to go see one of the ships tomorrow. Oi, Captain Bishop, remember. Oi, she's the first one that gets 55,000 views in one day. Hey. I have another video the other day of her pulling it out too. Yeah, she did 
I did. She did. She, she hey, you, yeah. Hey, the pressure. Your man puts the pressure, doesn't he? Great. Great. How was that first 24 hours? Pretty rough, huh? Forget about it. I didn't eat. <laughs> oh, they have a viral. <laughs> hey, well, you're fan favorites on the channel. Oh, Eric kept them vicious, guys. Um, yes, guys, I am doing a cruise, a cruise. So uh, February 17th through the 21st, one day after the Miami International Boat Show, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a cruise. And it's, it's going to be amazing, guys. Um, I can't wait. I'm getting all the details. Stay tuned to my website, Luxury Rib Tenders. Luxury RIB tenders at gmail.com. No, no, bro, thank you. No, 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 tranquilo. Ahora me invito, vine para comer. It's really hospitable, dude, back there. All right, uh, yes, so I'm really excited about I'm excited about flips, right? I mean, you, you guys might be watching this at a later date, right? But um, it's, it's very, very awesome to see. 2024, guys. 2024. Uh, bro, he's around. We, he's around. We saw him the last couple of days. He's here. Where? Oh. Dive in. Dive in, and I bet you you'll find him. Dive, dive in. Dive in real quick. You'll see him. I promise. All right. All right. All right, guys. Um. So, so yes, um, look, look, wow, look, look, look at the manatee. That's a manatee, guys. That's one of the manatees. So I always tell you guys, if you guys want to come and go ahead and see manatees, this is the spot, guys, Black Point Marina. You come to the little fillet table. A lot of people are cleaning out their, lice, um, their lobsters. All right. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a, a quick break and see what's going on. Well, you know what? Let's see what's going on with, with Eric. Let's see what's, what Eric's got going on. Oh my goodness, that video that him and his wife have is... I'll try to link it to the end of this video, guys. It is, it is a fun one. And, he, and, the, and the premise of the video, he was teaching her how to load the boat because he needs help, right? But there's more to it, so I'll link it. And damn, I don't know if I posted I probably didn't post it. It was just such a short clip that she pulled out the car, the boat. So she, she actually can drive it up and she can... Pull it out, I mean, she's a lot of help. Uh-oh, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. He said, slow down. Uh-oh, he said, slow down, he said, slow down. You weren't in neutral, you just went in neutral right now. Look at the wake, bro, I'm getting waked out over here. Thanks, thanks. I'm glad there's police officers here controlling the craziness. Uh, you, you know what? This, this boat ramp is a disaster, and we need order over here. All right, he's back. It's, it's, it's getting pretty busy. Um, look at the wind. I'm not going to the flag, guys. Look at the wind. Look at the wind. It's, it's blowing out there. It, it's actually picking up. It wasn't this bad earlier. It was actually a little bit better than than this, so let's see. Uh, since I started late, I don't know if it's, the tide's coming up or if it's going down. Or, I think it's going down. Which low tide is coming. You know low tide for us is our fave. All right. There we go, there we go, let's see what's going on. You know, I take credit for fixing this boat ramp, guys. I've made boating safer. Um, I really have. I, and I take full credit. I don't, want, I don't want nobody to go ahead and dismiss that. I'm, I'm taking 100% full credit. All right, um, we got this and he's coming back. All right, there, he's back. All right. I'm trying to talk over um, Eric's music. I don't want my video to get demonetized. Speaking of that, a lot of people were asking questions about that. So YouTube did an option that you can actually remove music after the fact, right? So you remove it after the fact, it, 
it'll it'll do a um, copyright claim so the uh, music holder or whatever gets gets the monetization but then after the fact they'll they'll erase the music using some type of AI I haven't done it yet but I, I think it will be a little odd because remember some of the natural sounds and whatever we're actually hearing will probably be removed as well so I, I mean I'll use it but typically what YouTubers do when, when we get one of those copyright strikes before we publish the video, it'll tell us. So then we re-edit the video, republish the video, re-render the video, do everything twice. And sometimes it happens three or four times. And then eventually when YouTube says, oh, all right, you cut all the pieces that had enough audio that's messing up your video, then we publish it. Look, that's Baptist Barbie's man. Guy looks like he has arthritis. She likes him old, guys. Let me tell you something. I think for, for what's going on? I think we might find, for the first time in human history, Bathtub Barbie will have two sets of ducks at the boat ramp at the same time. Because she's got a bunch of teenagers right now. Oh boy, this is good, this is good. Wait for the chittery. She's got two, she's got a whole set of teenagers right now. And then, you know, like every two months, she's like really laying and having new babies. And we'll see her there with the kids around there somewhere. They're, they're even uh, making havoc somewhere. Now on these hot days, guys, usually people are a little more irritated than normal because the temperature is so hot. So it gets, it gets kind of uh, interesting. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens after the fact, but that's what I look for. Based on the circumstances, I, I look for certain things. Like if it's raining, I look for people bloop blooping their trucks. They're back, they're back. We might get shot killed, damn it. Yeah. Yeah, we got shot killed. I knew it. I knew it. Look at this monster. Go. They're enforcing the wake zone. The manatees have an ambassador. Um, the butter said that. Oh boy. What the hell happened here? He said, nope. I can't go any slower than that, which I call cap. I call cap. He can go a little slower. But that's the first argument they're saying. I'm going up. I'm going. Didn't see this see the other guy say the same thing? Wait for it! What's going on? Nah, I'm good, bro. Thank you, though. How was the water? Good? You guys had a good time? <laughs> hey, have fun, fellas. <laughs> oh, my, my. But yes, you didn't see the other guy said the same thing. I'm going idle. I'm going idle. I was going to say I'm going idle. That's, that's my idle. Bro, please. If you know you're... It's still popped in gear. And then you go and you literally put it in neutral. So, 
Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We, we can do better than that. At least, at least when you get to the boat ramp, slow down, right? You already know you're going to get heated up here. Hold on, hold on. Let's see what's going on. Um, Carl and Cap, and I get people can get mad at me because I say I say how it is, right? I see. I'm I'm, lo I'm looking at it here, bro. I can see his engines going. I mean, he he wasn't terribly coming too too hot either, and and he does have a point because he has a bigger boat, and so that that would be uh, that call right there would be um, for those that don't know boating. I would say we would have to go to like the judges up top uh, and do a replay. But I don't know, guys. You guys are you guys are good judges yourselves. What do you think? I would say I would say he he didn't. I thought he was all right. But the other guy kind of ruined it for that guy. You're right. The guy before him, which was actually really coming really really hot. But it's good to see that they're making that. And he told him, if you don't like it, don't come back. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait for it. And then the guy on the boat said, yeah, like you own the park. Oh, my goodness. Folks, I'm telling you, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you when, when it's hot, guys, people get irritated? It gets irritated. What's up, guys? Como están? Algo de pesca. Cogieron algo? No. Paseo. Bueno. Bueno, glad, glad you guys are back. Uh oh, this guy, this this guy's gonna get screamed at. There he goes. Watch, 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 watch. This guy's gonna get screamed at. Oh, he got devoed. Oh shoot. He 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 did a a devo on him. That's like that movie Friday. The devo just takes your chit. He took his spot right there, guys. What are the odds of one of these dogs just falling in the water and Fred just shows up and says hello? And nothing happens. Maybe Fred wants to do like a little swim with him. We should do that, like a little event like that. Swim with Fred. Esperate means wait. Dude, I don't have my hook sunglasses on and I'm, I'm a little worried. I can't see in the water right now. I left them at home and I cannot see in the water. And Fred's around because Daniel just filmed them yesterday. So I'm worried. Typically, I can see in the water pretty, pretty deep. Oh, and they were at the White Marlin Open over there. Wow, there, there was some cool, cool footage coming out of there. Over there in Ocean City. They said they sold a bunch of hooks on glasses. I saw on social media somebody was they got like an 800 pound marlin. I don't know how, how well that, that one did, but they got it. We got some people over here in Chicho Live. Chicho Live guys, formerly known Chicho Live on Google Maps until some hater decided to go ahead and remove it. I mean, it had hundreds of views, hundreds of views. You would go on Google Maps and it says, yes, come to Chicho Live. The experience is wonderful. It's a lot of people on Chicho Live, though, let me tell you. Ay, bro, viendo toda la gente. Somebody's here next to me telling me that people in Chicho Live are just nosy. Yeah. He says that the people are nosy, they're watching everybody do their chit.
Dude, I thought I saw this guy already a couple minutes ago. Let's see what they what they got back here. I want to see what, what's going on on the fillet table. See how everybody comes nice and slow now? Back in the days, that wouldn't happen. Back in the days, you guys gotta see some of my old Chicho content. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, like ow, like ow. Whiskey throttle, guys, reverse whiskey. There it is, there it is. Stab panic at the disco. Here, I'm talking chit. Oh, no, oh, oh, he got it, oh, he got it. Oh, shoot. Me la cagaste, bro. Me la cagaste, bro. That was the shot of the day, bro. Bro, you're dead to me. Get off my lawn. Cuño, que clase cagada me dio el carver ese, bro. Si, bro, pero me tapó la, la, la imagen. Yo. Welcome to the chit show, guys. My name is Alvar Matane, and you are enjoying this. Damn it. I hate getting shot killed, bro. Tremendo whiskey throttle. So what, that's what we call a reverse whiskey, guys. Reverse whiskey. Actually, we have reverse whiskey throttle hats on my website. LuxuryRibTenders.com. I, I, he, he panicked. He panicked at the disco. Straight up panic. All right, well. So far we have an argument. Well, it really wasn't an argument. It was just people getting a little bit, I don't know, just saying some words. Let's see what's going on over here. And then we got a reverse whiskey. I'm doing this video kind of long, guys. I want you guys to see what's really happening over here on a, on a weekend. On one of the hottest days of the year. I, I, I would have to say this might be the hottest. I don't think it's going to get hotter than this today. Oh, look, those are nice fillets, dude. What did these guys catch? Oh, 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 what, what the hell was that? What was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, it was, it was, a, it was a manatee. It was a smaller manatee. I thought, I thought it was Fred. Yeah, the tide, is, the tide is going down, guys. This is going to get good prime time. I'm always, gonna, I'm always gonna look at these big trucks that are lifted with those off-road tires, guys, at the boat ramps. Those tires are, are kind of sketchy. I have them, I have them, and I know they're sketchy. I, and I have them. Oh, these guys are actually going to be cleaning fish too. It looks like everybody did really good fishing wise, dude. The fishing is probably really, really good. There's probably a ton of mahi out there.
beautiful Intrepid always coming in and out of here, guys. And we saw, remember Intrepid uh, in the Fort Lauderdale, I'm sorry, the Palm Beach Boat Show. Um, they had uh, an Intrepid elevated right before you came into the entrance. Now I will be filming, I will be filming the setup again, but this time in Fort Lauderdale, in the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. And I will be taking my shed. So my studio is going to be at the show, and um, so like people will be able to go inside there, and maybe, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'll do a podcast or something, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited about that. I think it's just really cool that you guys can see where, where I actually do most of my editing, right? Uh, guys, I do everything. I do the filming, editing, other than some of the stuff that Daniel films, but primarily all the stuff is me, is me done by me editing everything titles thumbnails look blue chip looks like they did good too everybody's going to that fillet table bro A lot of correcting here, guys. Dime! What's up, Dime? Oh boy, wheels in the one. Dime! Que bola? No le dieron flan! Pues se portó mal! <laughs> oh, <time dieta. laughs> Flag is a dessert over here, guys. It's very good. If you ever come to South Florida and you're at a bakery, ask for a flan. F L A N. And it's it's very common over here. They're just ripping them. They're like, you think that that body? You think he's on a diet? Looks like they've been having fun. Oye, <laughs> Arroz con leche, la próxima. Damn, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm here and flying and arroz con leche now, and I'm like, damn, that's dirty. I'm here trying to, I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight, guys. I'm trying, I'm trying to lose a little weight. I've, I've tried for a while. And then you know, just get back to the normal, you know? But I think this time, I think I'm actually gonna lose a little bit of weight. At least until next year. Then I get fat again. was the mahi mahi was good how deep are they how deep bro oh, give some info we gotta tell people where they're at dude it's not like it's not like a fishing hole you mahis move 
but if they're in the area, you know, like if they're in a thousand feet, you just look at a thousand feet. Uh, these guys, they look like they're going to five or six, probably five. Five would be the better. Well, that officer is in direct sun. It's, I mean, so am I. But at least I can cover myself up a little bit here with the trees. And uh, when those rangers and those officers are there working there, guys, it's brutal. Brutal. Oh, look, look, look at Bath and Barbie and her babies. Oh, they're not babies, they're teenagers now. You see them on the other side, they're, re they're, they're creating havoc. They're learning how to shower. They're learning how to shower. Okay, same, oh no, not, not same boat. Very similar. Let's see, same speed. Let's see if, if he gets screamed at. Hold on. No, he didn't get screamed at. But there, the the officer wasn't there. Hey, listen. And and after, bro, I have all these manatees here all the time. And and everybody likes to come in here sometimes. One guy, the, you, when you're that first guy passing everybody hauling ass, everybody thinks it's okay to do it. And then multiple people come in hot. And I see it. I see it all the time. I know everybody's behavior here, and I see it. We got a stick. We got a stick. We're gonna have to keep an eye on this, guys. The pole is out. The barbecue is still. Boom! Vamos a ver caballero, aguántate. Se va a poner esto bueno. Reverse whiskey. Take it so slow now. I love it. Look at this monster coming in. Pro. That is a Midnight Express. We haven't seen those guys here for a minute. Those, those you see all over Hallover, guys. All over Hallover, you'll see them at Hallover. They're not even in the water. They're, they're at the Hallover Marine Center there. I think this might be my hero. But he's going slow, so he's good. But he's gonna reverse whiskey. There, he's looking back. I think I got him. There's no current though. He might be all right. No captain, uh-oh. He's depending 100% on the pole. This is how you fall in the water, guys. Get off my line.
You hear those crickets in the background? That's wild how loud those things are, dude. Oh, look, look, this, this guy, is, this guy, this guy is coming in super hot. Oh, boy, this guy's going to get yelled at for real. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. He's not there. He's not there. I got to go up, guys. I got to go up. Oh, and then he puts Barcero music. Oh, no. Oh, yo, yo. Oh. This is why. This is why, guys. This is why. There's uh, there's signs of this in the wake. What do you guys think? Huh? What do you guys think? Uh, that 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 was a hundred percent sure. Hey, you gotta get screamed at. What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, now I want to know. Now that guy just made everybody else look good. Why is this guy running over here? What do you want to know about? Oh, he's dropping the midnight. He's helping his wife. Look, 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 look. Is that one of the babies? Yes. Look, look, look. Bathtub Barbie has shown her kids to be the cleanest ducks in the neighborhood. That is so amazing. Isn't that wild? All right, the midnight's in. The ducks are clean. All we're missing is, with all this fish that's gonna be in here, Fred's coming for sure, guys. Fred is coming for sure. This is, this is why, right here. You see, okay. So, so maybe there's new people. Fred is an American crocodile. He's about 14 to 15 feet. If I had to bet my life on it, I would say a good 14 and a half. Bet, if I had to bet my life. They're like, hey, you're gonna bet your life on it? I'll, I'll say 14 and a half. I don't think he's much smaller than that. And, and we can have a surprise 15. And he's local to this area, like many other American crocodiles, especially in the Turkey Point area, which is a little bit south from here. There's a, there's a crocodile refuge. That is a manatee right there that just pop, popped his head up. But yes, um, Fred is, he, he's allowed to be here. He was here for a long time. And he's not aggressive, not, not towards people yet, but we're waiting. I mean, we, we have some footage of him eating a couple of animals and stuff, but we try not to, you know, put that out on the, in the world because we, he, you know, he's running for president. We want to make sure that he has good favorability uh, ratings before, what, what is it, November 6th? I think when is the election? Yeah, November 6th. So yeah, he's waiting for all those carcasses. When all these people are cleaning their fish, um, you know, it's funny. When I went to Depot Bay in Oregon, we cleaned the fish. We meaning I paid somebody to do it over there. That's a good video to watch on my channel. Um, type in Alfred Montaner Depot Bay. And I went salmon fishing and we had a great day. It was an awesome day fishing. But they didn't let you throw the carcasses in the water. Um, I, it was unlawful to do that. And over here is like, that's how we feed Fred. I mean, people don't do it on purpose, but you know, they put it back there and the other fish will eat the carcasses. I've seen the actual manatees suck on the, on the fish as well. They suck on it. What's up guys? Welcome back. So uh, school's about to come back too, so people are excited that their kids are going back to school too. Uh, I, at least I am. Me and those kids, I love my kids, dude, but they, oof. In summer, it's just everybody's home, you know? And everybody's like uncomfortable. Let's see if I see Barbie, where's Barbie? Yeah, I, I can't wait. I like, I like summer too also because Realistically, I can do more and I don't have to drop off my daughter. Little by little, I'm, I'm, I'm having to do less when it comes to the kids. 
So those of you guys that are older understand that there's a phase that you're actually going to be able to enjoy your wife more. Like, I just want to get lost. Oh, you're 18. Leave me alone. We're gone. We're out of here. <laughs> Where are you? I don't have to tell you. You're a grown-ass woman. All right. These people are in. But yeah, once they go to school, and now Alyssa's in high school. She just uh, starts high school. So once she's done with that, I think I'm, I'm out. I'm going to go retire in Mars somewhere. I already talked to Elon. All right, guys, they're back. Captain's doing a good job. I think I've heard the entire conversation back here, what they've talked about socialism and Venezuela right now. Venezuela, I mean, as of this, what, what, what's going on here? Oh, boy. There's just a lot of chitter going on over there with elections and yeah, it's just the world's on fire, bro. Now in Britain, I just came from UK. You can't even, men you can't even talk about stuff now. Like that's wild. I thought they had like freedom of speech over there. Let me tell you, when I hear and see things like that, right, like people are getting arrested for making posts online. Can you imagine saying something just because you, you're just used to saying stupid stuff because you have the freedom of being able to say something stupid and you get arrested for that? Wow. I'll tell you right now, I don't think that's going to end well. I don't know. That's just me. Because um, <laughs> we're over here and saying, nanny, nanny, poo, poo. <laughs> we can say whatever we want. You can say whatever you want. Blah, 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 blah. Who knows? Just, I don't know. Maybe I, I probably can't go back to the UK because of that. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you. Oh, boy. What the hell happened there? Oh, come on, guy. Oh. Never fails, bro. The tree of death. Uh oh, we got a grandpa boat. That's a good one. I like that one. Look at that one. I like that one. Damn. Look at that. Look at that. That is the houseboat 3.0. Dude, that is awesome. You see how big that pontoon boat is? It's wild. Yeah, the more I travel, the more I really appreciate being an American. It's, it's just, and in not, not just American, a Floridian, right? Because we're a little special over here too. I had somebody come up to me the other day and they were super, super thankful. They're like, look, man, we were locked down. We couldn't do nothing. You were going to all the boat shows because you were in Florida. You didn't care. And it's not that I didn't care, guys. I cared, but I was also reasonable, right? With, I mean, if I'm outdoors, why do I have to make, wear a mask, you know? That was such a, I don't know why they don't talk about that anymore. Like, it just went away, like. But how quickly people forget. I'll tell you, let me tell you something, guys. And, and I, I really believe this. People F up all the time. And sometimes people do stuff on purpose, right? Because they're trying to see how far they can take you. But, um. If I've learned anything in my life is no matter how much you fudge up, people forget. They really do. How big, whatever big, it doesn't matter. People will forget. And the people that F you over know that as well. Well, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of the chit chill. I mean, we had, we had a couple reverse whiskey, nothing, eh, whatever. But, you know, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a... Uh, a new, I, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Alfred Montaner making a scene as always. Hey, freedom. It's, it's a powerful thing. It's, um, it's what that flag represents right there, guys. Um, let's just hope that uh, we always have it. Alfred Montaner making a scene as always. 
I'm out of here. All right, guys, I'm going to show you. I'm going to introduce yourself, Lily, so they know who you are. Hi, good, uh, good morning or good day. My name is Lily. I'm the corporate sales manager for Celebrity Cruises. I've been with the company for almost 20 years, and I'm very excited to showcase some of our suites and also our staterooms. This is a sky suite. As you can see, it's pretty spacious. Okay, it gives you uh, entry access into the retreat. Okay. There's three private areas that you would have access to if you have a sky suite and above. It does come with butler service, priority embarkation, premium drinks, premium Wi-Fi, and then also access to the retreat areas such as Lumine and also Michael's Club or the Lounge. So there's going to be areas on this on this particular cruise that won't be accessible to certain people based on 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 the package they get. Correct. Okay. So if this you is want big. to have these private areas, you do have to book a sky suite and above. Now there is different levels, there's different categories, uh, starting with Sky Suite, we also have an Aqua Suite, we have a Royal Suite, a Penthouse Suite, and of course, uh, the bigger the suite, the more square footage you have, but then all of these suites do come with uh, private areas. What's the square footage on this particular room? That one, I don't have it, but I will. what I'll do is I'll send you a fact sheet. Okay. Okay, so that, that way you can um, present it to everyone that gives them the square footage and also the different categories that we have, as well as a link so that you can personally see what each stateroom will look like. The inside and this is your own private um, balcony. Oh man, now, look at this guy. we call these verandas. Okay. So let me go ahead and um, open it up for you. I thought I was, I thought I was gonna get in trouble there. You just, no, I said no, balcony, no. she was like, uh-oh. We don't say. <laughs> we, don't, we have a different terminology. Burbage is called verandas. So you will have your own private veranda whenever you book a sky suite. We also have veranda categories that have different amenities such as aqua concierge and standard verandas do they sell cigars on celebrity they do sell cigars there are designated areas so make sure you do not smoke in your veranda but there are designated areas on board the ship where you could smoke there you go all right guys let's go ahead and see so we got a lot to show them yes no indefinite and you can also uh smoke cigar with what whiskey yeah okay all right so <laughs> wait you can for have it the best of both worlds